Caillou was very excited. There was going to be a party at play school today because it was the last day before the winter holidays. Is Miss Martin's present in the bag, Mommy? Yes, Caillou. You've asked me three times already this morning. Can you check again, just to make sure? It's here, all right, and I'm sure Miss Martin will love it. Did you put in my stocking? We're supposed to bring Christmas things for show and tell. You mean holiday things. Your friends celebrate many different holidays at this time of year. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I hope everyone likes my stocking. I'm sure they will. Let's go! Look, Mommy! Reindeer! And look over there! Leo's got one of those at his house. That's right. Jewish people put those up to celebrate Hanukkah. Do you remember what it's called? Hmm... Leo told me, but I forget. I'm going to ask him when I get to school. Good idea. Thank you very much, Caillou. You're welcome. Merry Christmas! That smells good! Xavier has brought burritos for everyone. That's his favorite holiday meal. This is going to be a yummy day. I brought dessert for everyone, but it's a surprise. Oh, wow! Hi, Caillou. What's that called again? I forget. It's a menorah. Hmm. Is that corn? Yup. It's Muhindi for Kwanzaa. Muhindi. Kwanzaa is the holiday that Clementine and her family celebrate. Nice Christmas tree. Thanks, Clementine. And those are nice, hmm, muhindi. Children. All right, everyone, let's start our show and tell. Yay! This is a dreidel. It's for a game we play during Hanukkah. Dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, my dreidel I shall play. Who wants to try? Leo showed me how to play at his house. Caillou was very proud that he knew how to spin the dreidel. Look, I'm a dreidel too! <laughs> The children got a chance to talk about things they did during their winter holidays. Clementine brought a mat called a makika. Her family put things on it to remind them of their relatives during Kwanzaa. I always put out this picture of my grandpa because that's me he's holding when I was just a baby. Emma brought in her favorite Christmas tree decoration. A beautiful angel. Jason and Jeffrey's family decorate their tree with popcorn. Only sometimes there isn't enough popcorn because the twins keep eating it. Finally, it was Caillou's turn. On Christmas Eve, I hang up my stocking, and when I'm sleeping, Santa Claus comes and fills it with treats. And I brought treats for everyone. Gumdrops. Yay! At lunch, the children shared the different foods they had brought. Lee Wun brought chopsticks, and everyone tried to use them. Thank you all for bringing food today. We even have dessert.
Look, I did it! I used my chopsticks! Do you want some of my grandma's fruitcake? Mmm! Do you want one of my banana squares? My dad made them! Sure! Mmm! Yummy! Mmm! <laughs> <laughs> still yummy! <laughs> All the children tried to use the chopsticks. It was harder than it looked. <laughs> After lunch, they all went outside to play. Let's Yay! build a snow fort. Did you have fun today, Caillou? Yeah! We had the best party ever! I love the winter holidays. All of them. Make each day special. Make each day special. Make each day great. Make each day special. It's an too late. Not just on birthdays or when holidays near. Make each day special all through the year. Every day we should give. Every day we should share. Every day we should help. Every day we should care. Make each day special. Set your goals high. Just follow your dreams. Be willing to try. In winter or summer, spring or the fall. Make each day special, if you're big or you're small. So make each day special, there's lots you can do. Yes, make each day special, cause you are special too. Caillou's Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve was one of Caillou's favorite times, and his favorite smell on this special day was that of freshly baked Christmas cookies. Ah. That looks like a lot of cookies for one little boy. They're not all for me, Mommy. I'm giving two to Rosie. All right, then. Just remember to leave some for Daddy. He likes Christmas cookies, too. Okay. <laughs> Look, Rosie, Christmas cookies. Cookies. No, Gilbert. That's my present for Rosie. Rosie present? Uh-huh. Daddy helped me wrap it. Pretty ribbon! No, Rosie. You can't open it yet. Do you know who puts all these presents under the tree? <gasps> Rosie family! Right. And who else brings us presents at Christmas time? <gasps> Santa! Yeah! And he's coming tonight! It had been a whole year since last Christmas. And Caillou was a much bigger boy than he was then. He wondered if Santa would bring bigger presents to bigger boys like him. <laughs> Funny how these ornaments keep falling off the tree. 
I wonder why that is. Mm. When can we open our presents, Daddy? Tomorrow morning when it's Christmas Day. Can't I open one now? You have to wait until Santa comes and leaves his gifts, too. When will that be? When it's dark and you're fast asleep, Caillou. When it's dark? Christmas cookies, my favorite. Thank you. Daddy, Daddy, it's dark. Now can Santa come? It has to be nighttime dark, sweetie. But don't worry, it'll be nighttime soon. Caillou was impatient. He wanted it to be nighttime right now. No, Daddy! Those cookies are for Santa. Hmm, and the glass of milk, of course. How silly of me. Are you getting something else for Santa? Not for Santa, Mommy. For the reindeer. Oh, how thoughtful. Well, Caillou, I think it's nighttime dark now. Yay! It's bedtime! Santa's coming! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> gonna stay up all night so I can see Santa. But Santa won't bring your presents if you're not asleep. Sleep tight, Caillou. Mm. Sweet dreams. Caillou had an idea. If he stayed up all night and pretended to be asleep, then he would be able to see Santa. Nothing in my stocking. That means Santa hasn't come yet. I'm gonna stay awake and watch for him. And you can stay awake with me, Gilbert. Caillou pretended to be asleep, but he was really listening carefully for Santa. Only it was taking a long time. was beginning to wonder what was taking Santa so long. Then he remembered that on Christmas Eve, Santa had to deliver presents to all the children in the whole world. If only Santa had a helper. Maybe he'd be able to deliver his presents faster. Oh, my, it's hard to see where you are when it's snowing so much. Where are we, little helper? We're over my street, Santa. Oh, well, are we now? Well, Jason and Jeffrey are next on my list. Do you know where they live? There, Santa. That's their house right down there. Splendid. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness you're with me tonight, Caillou. Without your help, I'd be completely lost. <laughs> I bet I could help, Santa. Hmm. It was so warm under the covers that it was hard for Caillou to stay awake. Caillou decided to close his eyes just for a minute. Ho, 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 ho! Merry Christmas, Caillou! Ho, 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 ho! Before long, it was morning, Christmas morning. So he did! And look! Presents! <laughs> we told you Santa would come if you went to sleep. He did! He did! Can I open them now, please? Grandma! Grandpa! Christmas! Merry Christmas, everybody! 
Merry Christmas, Caillou. 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 Merry Christmas, Caillou.